But in attack mode at the start of this matchup in the non-priority heat, a very important matchup. When we talk about the title race this season, Gilmore and Tati tied at equal six on the rankings, one spot out. Anthony Gilmore takes on Tatiana Weston Webb in an important matchup for the season as Gilmore is in motion, lays into a solid first turn. Getting a jump start on Tati, belts it again. How about that layback re-entry? Hits it off the lip, air drop, and Gilmore goes down swinging. Uh, you want to see that uh, it's important, and you want to see them perform with that type of pressure. And looks like to me, someone is on fire on Fuego. Unfortunate for Steph on this one, not getting the completion, but love the serve thing that she's already applying in this heat. That there would have been a complete make. Complete control needed to happen right there in order to get credit for that maneuver. But look at this layback snap. That's cutting loose. That is beginning of a heat to lay into a maneuver like that it is really cool. And she understands the gravity of this situation right here. If she wants to get herself into that final five at the moment and with Caitlin Simmers out, right, this is the opportunity. And so the importance even got even more so in this heat for Tati and Steph. It's unfortunate she did not pull this one down. That was her, see how her foot shifted off to the side of the stringer. Just too difficult to keep control of it. So she wouldn't get credit for that. So we're going to see these battles for a long time. Tati might get started here. Last year's champ at Jeffries Bay. Wall starting to grow. Big bottom turn tries to hammer it. Goes down swinging. Gilmore wrapping things up. On her second wave of the matchup, slamming on the brakes, mid-face correction, nice and barreled is Gilmore. Not super deep, but had a bit of tunnel vision there. She wants to have a chance to fight for a ninth in September. Take a look at this one from start to finish. Yeah, well, the forehanders get to take these type of waves that load up on the reef and push down the line. Generally speaking, you're gonna be able to pick up that extra speed, whereas the backhanders have to choose a certain paced wave. Little kick stall there for the barrel, but when you're seeing the board the whole time, you're seeing the legs. Tati getting a start, Pete. Tati on the backhand. Again, she knows what waves she's gonna wanna have here to get big numbers. See how she lays off the bottom, compresses, loads up. Waiting on numbers here, could be a bit of a lead change, we'll see. As we watch Tati, she's had a couple of falls, chasing Steph at the start of this heat. Trying to wake up that backhand, and it's not going to happen there. A cool looking wall now setting up for the Queen. Driving off the bottom, cool connection in the pocket. Gilmore on the wind up. Just a quick sweep. Straight up off the lip as well. Good time. And seeing Tati up and out. That's unfortunate. You can see the rhythm definitely feels like it's right with Steph Gilmore, whereas Tati just not on the best waves, obviously. In the closeout section, and Tati will try to finish up this wave against Steph Gilmore. Hits the lip hard, goes down swinging right in front of her sparring partner, including the big heat over Carissa Moore to clinch her eighth world title. During the break, Steph got this way, Pete. Ooh, nice carve there and uh, good timing off that section, but not a lot down the line, so she kicks out. Mermaid money everywhere. <laughs> Abalone in there yeah. as well. So cool. I mean, I know that there's a little bit of a shell competition happening. Uh, Luke uh, and Carissa have um, been and there at the top. She's moved on to the next round. This is what Steph just did during that catch up with Molly. So we're waiting on the score for this one. Uh, beautiful pace to this wave. Looking so loose and free. Equipment looks spot on for Steph. That confidence, oh, double hand layback. Oh, that was very Matt hoy -esque. And then a mix, so two beautiful snaps. Some quality maneuvers there. And I'd have to say that could be a slight improvement here on her six, but look at this technique. The snap where she compresses, and that's the forehand turn where you're able to absorb the speed so you can get right back on that inside rail to get down the line. Good read from Steph here, but then look at this double hand layback. Both hands back, lays it in, just all a hoy. That was very hoy esque. Uh, and then understanding having to mix it up, beautiful snap, a little lower speed, but then gets the ability to really jack that back leg in. 
Nice work there from Steph Gilmore. So cool when she has time to show off that style. It's an important wave here for Tati to get involved in this matchup. A couple of starters to kick off the wave. Now looking for more of an inside bowl. And doesn't really have anything to work with there. Brutal. She is just so out of rhythm. It's been very difficult. Every wave just quiet, slow in the start. All of a sudden, kind of see her waiting and waiting, hoping that some point it was going to pick up and just doesn't happen for her. So very, very difficult heat for Tati. And I guess just even thinking of the previous event, going down in the elimination round, as we see what happened here. Yeah, and again, missed the, the first turn. Finally gets the snap kind of happening. This is where it goes into the super tube section, gets another one. So it's starting to build momentum. And then the wave starts to slow up here. She sees that it's going to go kind of load up down the line to the indecision right here. What do we do? Do I go back? Never really want to go back to the whitewater too much here at J Bay. And no finish for her. And so just going to have to rely on the outside work. And again, on her backhand, she understands what she needs to do. Pick those pockets. She's so explosive in the lip. But this is the wave let her down. She really is on wave number, what, three of this set probably. And it just didn't have the vertical face that she would have liked. So again, that reflects those you know, committed sections. Those are the ones that are going to have an extra power, extra juice. That's why the bigger waves generally score more, because they're more difficult to ride. And the sections are bigger. Basically a two-turn combo, 6.7. This is live. Steph Gilmore has a lot of speed, trying to catch up to the open face, and she'll hop out. As we see Tatiana take this wave, needs an almost perfect score. First turn looking clean from Weston Webb. Brazilian sets up the wrap. Fades down deep off the bottom, classic bottom turn. Tati connects well. Nice clean pace, belts it again. She's on her way. More opportunity. Quickly off the lip line, she's got to catch up. And that one's going to force her to shut it down right on the inside shelf. Probably had her best pace that we saw in this entire heat and look to get incredibly barreled. She'll have a lot of pressure on her to make the title showdown at Lower Trestles this year.